This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Frigidaire dishwasher that won't drain. And we're just going to open it up, pull the basket out. We can see there's a lot, a lot of water left in there. And my suspicion is we have a clogged drain. So I'm going to test it by pressing the cancel button for three seconds. And I can hear a little bit of a humming sound, but it's definitely not draining. So my suspicion is something's blocking the drain impeller from spinning. Uh, it could be some food debris got in there. So I'm just feeling it. And I'm going to unplug it or turn off the breaker. And then I'm going to pull out this basket. And what I want to do now is just remove this spray arm. So I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver to pry against this clip just slightly. I can pop off the spray arm. I'll pull out the filter. And I'll pull out this part of the filter assembly. And then I just want, want to use uh, any method I can to bail out that water. I usually just use like a cup And that'll get most of the water out, and then you can use just bailing it out cup by cup, and then you can use a uh, turkey baster to get the water at the very bottom. We're just trying to get the water out so we can get into where the drain pump is. And I'm also checking the air gap at the top, making sure that's not clogged. That's a common place that can clog a dishwasher. I'm just testing it again. It still uh, seems like I hear the hum, but there's no water moving. Just checking that air gap, but it seems like it's clear. So I don't think that's a problem. So now we're just using the turkey baster to get the remaining water out of the sump. And then we need to remove three Torx 15 screws to get to where the drain impeller is. Use my screw gun to remove those three screws. And then I can lift up on this plastic cover. There we go. And then I'm going to look in to see Anything's caught in there, maybe some food debris. So over to the right is where the water goes through to drain out. And when I look in there, I notice that there's something reflective. So I use my needle nose pliers, reach in there and grab what, whatever that thing is. So it looks like it was a shard of glass that was pushing in on the drain impeller, keeping it from moving. And that's why the machine wouldn't drain, but I could hear a, a buzzing sound. That was the motor trying to turn, but the glass was in the way. So usually like a wine glass will break and then the little shards find their way past the filter. Just going to pull a little bit more debris I found in here out from the impeller. That's the circulation impeller. Make sure everything moves well, nothing's caught in the impeller. Looks good. So I'll put it back together now and test it. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, get all the, all the food debris out. I'll put that piece back in and then get those three screws tightened up.
All right, so now we can plug it in and take it for a, a test. Oh, we got to put these uh, filter parts back in. So we've got it all back together. And now when I open it up, it's filling and it's circulating correctly. Now I ask it to drain. And now I can hear it draining. And then I look over here at the disposer and I can see the water. It's just shooting out here on the right hand side. So I know it's working again. So it's just that piece of glass got caught in there. That was the trouble. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thank you.